and this is a feature debut from Rangana Nioni, who was born in Zambia, raised in Wales, has made several short films which have won international awards. This is a feature debut, an extraordinary piece of work, story of a young girl in a remote village who, at the beginning, we see um, somebody carrying a, a bucket of water who this young unnamed girl steps out in front of her, the bucket of water is dropped. Uh, immediately, the young girl is accused of being a witch um, and uh, the local authorities offer her a choice which is you can either go and join a witch camp um, and you will then be attached to a huge string of white ribbon for the whole of your life in order to stop you flying away or cut the ribbon and be turned into a goat which may well be killed and eaten for supper. Unsurprisingly she takes the former option and finds comfort for a while in the company of these outcast women who have been told to live in this witch camp. But then a government official says, ah, you're my little witch now, after he realises that he can use her as a celebrity, taking her around to local courts to solve disputes between... Uh, uh, disputed parties and the next thing is she's on talk shows she's being sort of paraded around as this sort of you know magical witch that this government official is basically you know using for his own devious ends and he's asked on the talk show yes but but what if she is just a child and the film is basically a very dark satire on on many things one of them is on the role of women in society i mean it has its feet in factual stories there really are genuinely witch camps uh, the writer director researched them both in zambia and then in ghana she went and stayed in witch camps in ghana but it's also more importantly has an element of fairy tale fantasy the central conceit the idea of people being attached by these long strands of white ribbon that are meant to sort of superstitiously and practically prevent flight definitely has hints of Charles Perrault or the Brothers Grimm. There is that kind of fairy tale sense all the way through. Some scenes, I mean, the, the, there's a scene very early on in which the, the child who is named Shula by the women in the witch camp... Um, uh, there's a scene very, very early on in which she is being accused of witchcraft, which has hints of Monty Python, in which somebody says, oh, yes, well, I was I was, I was, was standing in a field and she suddenly materialised before me and I realised that she was holding an axe and then she cut off my arm and he's standing there completely intact. So there is definitely that kind of sense of, you know, the, the, from Monty Python um, uh, and the Holy Grail. There are also scenes which are absolutely heartbreaking and tragic and touched by a certain sense of you know, um, strange poetic transcendence. I think what the film manages to do is to be, you know, we talked about the way in which uh, Amanda Iannucci's film juggles humour and horror, it juggles fact and fiction. And I think this film does a very similar thing, that it is a satire and it is meant to be something which, you know, there is definitely a very sort of strong streak of often quite cruel humour in it. But it's also very pointed, very, it's a socio-political satire, it's about gender politics it's about the way in which you know people can uh, turn on each other but also in the way in which people can find strange bonds it has a very strong quasi magical realist edge to it it's it, the photography is absolutely beautiful the cinematographer is the same guy who made it embrace of the serpent which i which i absolutely loved and i think as uh it's it absolutely establishes that Ringon and Ioni as, as an extraordinary talent to watch. On the basis of this, I can't wait to see uh, what she makes next because this is a really remarkable piece of work. Very hard to define, harder to describe, but one of those things that when you watch it, it makes complete sense. It's totally coherent. I've seen it twice. Second time around, it seemed even richer. It is called I Am Not a Witch and it is Certificate 12A. That is out today.